karibu tena mtazamaji ni Ngali na Shabaya na vile vile Gitonga wanatufafanulia mengi sana kuhusiana na mashindano ya kuania nafasi kwenda Korea Kusini naja kwako Gitonga sasa hivi kuna mambo mengi ndio useme mtu ameshinda mnaangalia alama ngapi kwa huyo mtu hatuna naweza sema hatuna kiwango exact ambacho tunaweza sema hiyo ndio inaonyesha mshindi mm -hmm. lakini the only way we determine the winner is yule ambaye ako na score za juu alama za juu kabisa huyo ndio mshindi hiyo mm -hmm. ni kuonyesha kwamba ame score high kwa technical ile niliwaelezea kwamba ni usafi na kila kitu na pia drinks ambazo ame serve espresso cappuccino na signature drinks mm -hmm. zime score high so okay. hivyo ndo tuna determine mshindi wa hiyo mashindano okay. na hivyo ndivyo teriali alitoa ubingwa kwa usahihi kabisa yeah. hivyo ndio Terry alifanya. Okay, sasa so, so, turejee kwa kwa Shabaya. Kuna yeah. kitengo cha tatu sasa hapo mm. kwa kuongeza maziwa. Ndio. Yeah. Uh, nini wakati gani ndio huyu uh, mwanafunzi ambaye yupo katika mashindano anaelewa sasa ni wakati wangu wa kuingia uh, katika kiwango cha tatu. So kwa hii competition kuna uh, three sectors. Mm -hmm. Ya kwanza ni espresso, milk beverage, mm -hmm. alafu signature. Mm -hmm. So kwa milk beverage mm -hmm. Uh, inategemea na barista na kawa yake. Mm -hmm. Kama na joka yangu ni sweet enough. Mm -hmm. Kuna kiwango ya kikombe ndatafuta. Okay. Yenye nikiongeza maziwa ita overpower hiyo kawa. Mm -hmm. Na hii ni coffee competition. Mm -hmm. So maziwa ifai kupita test ya kawa. Okay. So kuna hiyo balance sisi mahakimu mm -hmm. tunatafuta. Okay. So tunatafuta tu nani kati ya wa barista wote mm -hmm. wame balance hiyo kawa vizuri kwa kikombe. Mm -hmm. So tukitest tunaangalia flavor, tunaangalia texture venye ametengeneza hiyo maziwa smoothness mm -hmm. na pia kama ame waste maziwa ubaki kwa hiyo picha ya kutengeneza tuna score hizo zote chini okay yeah. kama itokea wakati mmoja kwako gitonga wanafunzi wawili wamekuja kwa levels zote zinafanana katika kiwango chote uh, kusema kweli hilo alijafanyika mm -hmm. yet mm -hmm. uh, sababu wanaweza kuwa wamescore vizuri wamescore equally the same kwa vi, kwa vinywaji pale espresso probably the score is the same mm -hmm. uh, cappuccino ni the same na signature pia amazing kabisa mm -hmm. lakini unapata kwamba kuna moja aliondolewa max mm -hmm. sababu alibakisha maziwa kwa jug okay. so hiyo alama moja tu ama hata uh, nusu alama 0.5 mm -hmm. enough kukufanya ukuwe namba 2 na moja akuwe namba 1 mm -hmm. uh, makosa kama hayo ya, ya kusalia kwa maziwa E, yanafanyikaje na ndio mwanafunzi ya kwepe wakati tapoingia katika mashindano hayo yanafanyika wakati ambapo haja train vizuri mm -hmm. hajaelewa vikombe zake ni size gani mm -hmm. na inaweza chukua maziwa kiwango kipi mm -hmm. so unapata kwamba ako na four judges ana serve pale but maziwa ameeka mm -hmm. imebaki mm -hmm. kwa vi, uh, the same way waweza pata ameka maziwa kidogo mm -hmm. so kuna judge moja pale hata pata kikombe complete hiyo pia tunamtoa max oh nice yes. kuna hii niliona unasema ndo kushinda sana signature <laughs> watu wanatoa na kivumbi kule kabisa ni fafanulie kidogo ndo ni fahamu kama nataka kuingia kwa mashindano <laughs> nitashindaje kwa sababu mwingine ana kwa mtindo wake na mimi na mtindo wangu mnaangalia nini ndo ujue huu mtindo utakwenda kimataifa so signature ni kitu ya maana sana kwa sababu inaku represent we mwenyewe mm -hmm. na kawa yako yenye unasahau Mm -hmm. So tuseme kawa ya Nyeri ama Mount Kenya region mm -hmm. ama ya Western mm -hmm. zote zina test tofauti. Okay. So mimi kama natumia kawa ya Mount Kenya region mm -hmm. lazima ni jue test hiyo kahawa. Mm -hmm. Alafu kutengeneza signature drink ni kuongeza other flavors mm -hmm. za ku enhance hiyo mm -hmm. kahawa it taste even better. Mm -hmm. So inafaa kuwa very creative mm -hmm. ingredients na kuja nazo lazima zi complement hiyo mm -hmm. kahawa. Kama iko na citrus of lemon mm -hmm. naweza kati kati ya citrus family of fruits mm -hmm. naweza chagua moja ya ku complement hiyo citrus ya lemon okay. alafu creativity inaingilia penye ndaitengeneza agenda i blend mm -hmm. nda shake kwa boston shaker ndaitengeneza mm -hmm. ndai start tu kama na ice cubes mm -hmm. so hapo creativity yote mm -hmm. tuna score Okay. na wana lafu nyita test vizuri mm -hmm. ndio tuna award hiyo high scores. So, so, Turejee kwako Gitonga. Kuna wakati niliona uh, Shabaya akingangana kuna mwanafunzi mmoja alishindwa kuwasha uh, ile mashine ambayo inatumika. Wakati hayo yanafanyika na nini hasa uh, tunaangalia ndo asipoteze sana. Mm. Sasa uh, haya mashindano ya kuna rules, mm -hmm. a set of rules uh, ambazo zilikreatiwa ku kuleta a balance kwa haya mashindano. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo kuna rules tunafuata wakati tunasaidia competitor wakati ameshindwa kutumia mashini pale mm -hmm. ama wakati mashini imeleta shida. Mm 
Mm -hmm. So kwa hivyo in a case that the, the case that you referring to mm -hmm. waweza pata kwamba competitor hajaelewa machine kabisa. Mm -hmm. Hiyo hatuta hatutasimamisha wakati. Mm -hmm. Lakini iwapo machine imeleta shida pale, stima zimepotea ama maybe pressure imepanda juu sana na hawezi extract kahawa, that's a technical issue. Okay. So hapo tutasimamisha wakati and then now she can maybe recollect herself and then eventually start. Mm -hmm. na, na kwa kiwango ambacho mwanafunzi kwa kosheba ambaye yeah. ametens uh, Yeah. anaanza kuongopa kufanya kile huwa mnampatia counseling kidogo kabla aendelee na shughuli lazima kibla. lazima kabla tupitie ma e, tufike kwa hii siku ya competition mm -hmm. kuna kuanga na calibration mm -hmm. day just about two days before the competition mm -hmm. so hiyo day tuna meet judges mm -hmm. wana meet uh, espresso machine mm -hmm. wana brew coffees na tuna try kuongelesha wa relax mm -hmm. wa feel tu ni kama wamepatiwa dakika 15 mm -hmm. ku represent you hard work wamefanya for several months okay. waki practice so waki tense akuwe nervous mm -hmm. ni yeye anajiangusha hiyo effort yote ameput in mm -hmm. uh, ku present in so, so. 15 minutes now gitonga la mwisho kabisa kwaeme kwa ndege ya mashinda nayo umeshinda kombe lipi na kuna neno kwa kijana ambaye anatafuta nafasi ya kuwa ni ubingwa uh, nilishinda 2018 mm -hmm. Uh, wakati huo mashindano yalikuwa Amsterdam Netherlands mm -hmm. I was fortunate enough to within the same period get a sponsorship kwenda ku train America pale mm -hmm. alafu kisha nikaenda kushinda na Amsterdam okay so kwangu haya mashindano yamenisaidia sana okay Yes, sikufikiria so. naweza fanya kahawa kama career uh -huh. but clearly it's an inspiration to generations that chochote ambacho unafanya bora you've put your mind into it oh. yaweza kufungulia milango in future so sasa hii ni career yako kabisa na umeamua ndo kahawa pale na consult uh -huh. uh, kampuni inaitwa Cozy Cups uh -huh alafu na uza machines pale na supply kahawa na roast mm, na pia okay. na export sasa kwako shabaya neno la mwisho zawadi wakati umeshinda kuna zawadi vile vile na je umekwenda katika taifa gani na neno lako kwa kijana ni sawa okay mimi nimeshinda mara nne mm -hmm. oh. mara ya kwanza ilikuwa 2015 nili represent Kenya in Seattle Washington mm -hmm. 2016 pia nikashinda nika represent Kenya in Ireland mm -hmm. 2017 nikaenda pia kule South Korea. Mm -hmm. Alafu ya mwisho ilikuwa 2021 which mm -hmm. nilienda ku represent Kenya in Milan mm -hmm. which was my best performance after learning from the previous three. Mm -hmm. Nikakuwa fifth in the world oh, which nice. is a very big achievement for Kenya uh -huh. and also for Africa at large. Okay. Also it gave me an opportunity to uh, work with very big brands mm -hmm. like Mas and Remo coffee machines okay. which in a supply espresso machines all over the world. Mm -hmm. Now wali nichagua kama their brand ambassador. Oh okay. Yeah. So, so kuna hela kule si lazima pekee ukwende ah. shambani. Kuna kijana anayekutazama neno lako kwake la mwisho kabisa. Neno langu neno langu kwake ni as long as una focus mm -hmm. no matter how simple it is especially mm -hmm in whatever you do just love passion mm -hmm. and uh, constant dedication mm -hmm. no matter how many times you fail mm -hmm. there's always an improvement okay. na oh. exposure mm -hmm. ndo kitu maana sana sawa so, sawa so. yeah. shabaya martin uh, ni mwanzilishi wa shabaya limited nashukuru sana vile vile tony gitonga ambaye sasa hivi anafanya masuala ya consultancy pongezi sana kwa kuja siku ya leo mtazamaji umefuatilia si lazima uwe katika shughuli ya shambani pekee hata vile vile kule kwenda katika shindano ya mataifa yanja sante sana kwa kujiongea na si jina langu ni Emmanuel Terer salia na Mwenyezi Mungu kumbuka tatimiza ndoto Kenya's Gold brought to you 